You cannot see a brother or a sister in the midst of the, the, in the midst of weakness to one that have a need. My God, and you are not given to that cause. And you hear what I'm saying? Remember we spoke about in our other session what you make happen for others, God's gonna make happen for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Whether it be my God, the pastor, or we need to have a brother, we need to have a sister, or you know this. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, you don't need to go for casting it. Just do it. Just give it. Praise the name of the Lord. See, God wants to bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you don't know, my God, how to release that, my God, that seed this morning. How is he going to do it? Because when you give to those that are in need, remember we discussed this, my God, you are lending to God. When you give to those that are in need, you are laying up for your children the seeds that you are sowing. Doors will always be open. Doors are free for your children. You are looking at one avenue, but it's not only one avenue. They shall have favor in the schools. They have to do it, have favor anywhere that they plant their feet. Praise the name of the Lord in the job place. Even though the devil may try this morning, he cannot prevail. Why? Because I can lay claim I have planted seeds. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is what makes us effective. This is what makes our fasting effective this morning. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the name of the Lord. We are closing off with these two scripture verses. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verses 5. Having a form of godliness. That is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verses 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. So in other words, those that, those that have a form of godliness, they can quote scripture verses really well. My God, but they are not practicing what God has required from us. My God, concerning themselves, concerning the household, concerning the church. My God, he says what? He says, my God, from such to away. You know why? Because they are no example to you. Birds of a feather flock together. If we share one common interest, then I'm going to stick with you. My God, if I desire strength, I'm going to connect myself with someone of strength or of greater strength that can lead me in the right path. Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. Why would you seek to connect yourself to people? My God, that ain't going nowhere. Come on. That don't care about, and I'm referring to the household of faith here now, that don't care to support the things of God. Come on. That is not a good girl I know. The church should be in them. Then keep me in the plant a seed in your head. Well, I don't feel like coming here and I am. That is wrong. You don't neglect the assembly of the brethren as a man of some do. But it won't be good. I feel the anointing. What a point are you feeling? Come on. He said from such to the away. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the true power of God. What is the true power of God? When you begin to practice the principles of God. Not speaking in tongues. Not dropping on the floor and rolling, touching the roof. When you begin to be obedient to what God requires from you, that is the true power of God. That is what will bring the ones to you. That is what will bring prosperity to you. Praise the name of the Lord. What was scripture verse? Titus chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable. In other words, they are disagreeable. They are revolting. They are disgusting. They are detestable. They are horrible, my God, and disobedient. And unto every good work, they are reprobates. In other words, they are unprincipled. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the Lord is saying this morning, they profess to know me. But in reality, they don't. Because if they really know me, 
they will practice what I require from them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, I've said a lot this morning, and I know I ran really quick this morning because of that. But I'm trusting God that we grasp some things this morning. We are talking about the spirit of fasting. And the spirit of fasting, if you fall into this category, God is going to be desired to be blessed, then you have to get rid of that clutter. You have to get rid of it. Don't look at that fast and make your business. So if this morning you get the ouchie, it's because God tried to get your attention. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is because God wants to work on your behalf. It is because God loves you this morning. And He wants to get your attention. He wants you to do something about it this morning. Because there are greater things that are ahead of you. Praise the name of the Lord. And He wants you, my God, to fight a good fight of faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My God, I thank God this morning for the testimony this morning. My God, I want you to thank God this is the best. We know where she came from. But I was glad when she said, no, nobody have to tell me to come to church. I'm looking at the time. Because of this where my heart is. She reminds me of David. David said, I was glad that they said unto me, come and go to church. Did you ever say it? So next time somebody called and said, come and say, you are passing the pick you up. Come to church. That is the devil talking to you. That is the devil talking to your man. Amen? Yeah. So my God, you are blessed this morning. My God, you still have to continue. And in continuation, who knows? My God is just to speak about the blessings that is going to be connected to when you are obedient to these principles this morning. Amen? Yeah. So what bless you this morning. I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. We see the reason why I'm left with no other choice but the love of the Lord. Praise 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 the